Hi this is Debbie and today's video is part of a guest post over on the Waffle Flower blog. I'm going to be using Waffle Flower's Woolly and Friends and stocking sets to create this card with a cheeky monkey peeking in his Christmas stocking. I have the two stamp sets which also have their dies tucked in the back. I've also got some Nina Solar White card and two die sets from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to be using the Misty stamping tool today. Initially I didn't purchase this tool as I thought it was mainly for when you wanted to make multiples of cards and I tend to make just one of any one design. However, having been persuaded to try it, I now use it all the time. I like to lay out my stamps onto some Nina Solar White, mount them onto the door of the Misty, and then I take some Memento Tuxedo Black ink, stamp down once, and then open the door and the magnets will keep the card in place while you ink it up again and stamp down again and that will give you a really nice black outline to your images. Once I'd stamped those images, I then found the matching dies, attached them with washi to keep them in place, and then ran them through my die cutting machine. I also took the branch from the stocking set, stamped that twice in olive ink, and then ran that through the die cutting machine as well. Having gathered all my pieces together, I'm now going to copy colour them. I'm using a simple copy colouring technique of blocking the areas out with a lightest shade first before working my way through the medium and the darker shades. I've sped this video up so that I can get in as much of the colouring as possible and while I continue to colour I'll play some music and I'll be back soon. the Copic colouring almost finished. I like to colour after I've die cut because I'm quite fussy about my die cutting. I like to make sure that I've got a nice even edge all the way around the image and therefore I wouldn't like to colour something and then die cut it and then find I hadn't got it lined up quite right. So yes for me it's stamp, die cut and then colour. When I was initially playing around with the design for this card I'd taken the Dance Like No One's Watching sentiment from the William Friends set and separated off the No One's Watching part. I can then stamp this in Versafine Onyx Black Ink in the speech bubble and then add an exclamation mark with a micron pen and then that looks like it's that a cheeky little monkey is peeking in his Christmas stocking early. Having trimmed that out it's now time to turn to the background of the card and I'm using the pattern paper from Lawn Fawn that's Boker in the Snow and cutting one of those blue sheets out with a stitch rectangle from Simon Says Stamp. I'm going to cut a second rectangle from Nina Solar White and then run that through the die cutter again, but this time with a stitch slope and hill die. Everything is now prepared for the card and it's time to put it together with foam adhesive. I like to use lots of foam adhesive so I give plenty of dimension to the card. Some things will have one layer of foam adhesive and others will have two or even three layers. Once everything was in place, I tied a twine bow and then attached that with some multimedia in mat. And that completes this card of this naughty little monkey picking into his Christmas stocking early. All of the supplies I've used are listed down in the YouTube description and also on my blog, lamedoodledesign.com. 
Thank you for joining me today. I'd be delighted if you think about subscribing to this YouTube channel so that you can see more from me in the future. Bye.